Hello and welcome to this next tutorial in which we're going to learn how to model a cartoon face using Blender. So as we know from the previous tutorial, to enter edit mode, you press the tab key on the keyboard. In order to do box modeling, you must be in edit mode, where you can edit corners, lines, and sides of your objects individually, or using the terms that Blender uses, vertices, edges, and faces. As we saw before, you can scale, rotate, and move any of these in any direction, except the vertices, which you can only move. With box modeling, you begin with a six-sided cube. Choose face selection from the properties panel at the bottom of the viewing pane, and press A on your keyboard to select all of the faces. Pressing A again deselects everything, but for now we want everything selected. Press the W key to open the Specials menu, and then select Subdivide from the drop-down list there. This divides each face of the object into further segments and increases the number of polygons. You can increase or decrease the number of cuts in the Mesh Tools panel. For this object, we want to select two for the number of cuts to create a Rubik's Cube type shape. Select the center face on each side of the cube by right clicking and holding down Shift, and then rotating the object until you have the center cube on each face selected. Switch to the front view by pressing 1 on the number pad and then press 5 to enter ortho view and press S to scale from the center of each face. Try to make your shape as round as possible. It's important that you're in ortho view for this. If you're in perspective mode, you will get a very distorted shape. So our object is looking a lot more round now, but we still have some pointy corners. So go into vertex selection mode and select the eight corners that are sticking out and then right clicking on each one while holding down the shift key. Press the S key to scale the corners inwards. This doesn't actually scale the vertices but more moves them in relation to each other towards the center of the object because as we know you can't actually scale or rotate vertices as they're just individual points in 3D space. Press the one key on your number pad for the front view if you're not already in it. Go back to face selection mode and select the face in the center of the object. We're going to create a nose for our cartoon head from this face. Press the S key to scale it down and then press E to extrude and then S again to create the basic shape of a nose. Repeat this process two more times, extruding and then scaling up or down to create a cartoon nose shape. Press the tab key to go back to object mode and select smooth from the object tool panel. Go back to edit mode by pressing tab and use the loop cut tool by pressing control and or to make a cut around the eyes and the cheekbone area. You can hold down the right mouse button to uh, lock in your loop cut in the center of your uh, selection, or you can use the left mouse button to scroll up and down to reposition the loop cut. Switch to edge selection mode and select the two edges where the eyes would be, and then move them inwards to create a kind of brow shape to the head a groove or indent where the eye sockets would be. You can switch between front and side view to compare uh, or when you're trying to move your edges inwards. Do another loop cut now by pressing Ctrl and OR, this time going down the middle of the face vertically. You can right click to center the loop perfectly in the middle. Loop cut one more time right across the middle of the head to add more faces. The more faces you have, the easier it is to model your object, although it does increase the complexity of the object, but it gives you more control over the shape. 
adjust the nose edges to make it seem rounder by selecting individual vertices in vertex selection mode and then using S to scale and G to move the vertices until the nose looks round. Basically you're pushing and pulling individual points and edges to try and sculpt the object to what you want it to look like. Select the front faces of the nose and move them outwards and then do the same to the cheekbones. C create an ear by selecting the faces where the ears would be and pressing E to extrude them. And when you're extruding the ears, look at the face from about a 45 degree angle so you can get a better view of it. Loop cut the ears and then work on the individual vertices and edges to sculpt a better shape for an ear. Create, create holes for the eyes and mouth by pushing the faces in towards the head's center. You may wish to add more loop cuts at this stage to make it easier to create these shapes. Tweak the, these holes, edges and vertices to improve their appearance and look more sculpted. Next we're going to open the Object Modifiers tab in the Properties window. Uh, and next select Subdivision Surface from the Object Modifier options. To smooth out the cartoon face, you can increase the number of subdivisions, but generally it's not advisable to go above two. This is known as a Subsurface Modifier and Blender works out the mathematical equations to make the object appear smoother. Work on the individual vertices and edges to sculpt a smoother and much more detailed cartoon face. This has been a simple introduction to using box modeling to create objects such as a cartoon head in Blender.